The Hopkinton Fire Department recently received a three-year grant that will allow Hopkinton to hire four new firefighters. Chief Slammon talked about being one of the few departments to receive the grant. We had been uh, looking at some of the FEMA grants for a few years and uh, in the last couple years with our staffing studies and uh, recognizing we're trying to establish some effective responses. I worked with my Deputy Fire Chief Bill Miller and Ben Sweeney up at Town Hall, our new uh, grant writer, and uh, they both worked hard on understanding how to uh, adequately uh, meet the needs of the grant and, um, and work with the Town of Hopkinton on uh, getting adequate staffing for our growing community. And uh, can you talk about what that grant will go towards? Sure, it's, it's specific for uh, firefighter staffing. So we qualified for four firefighters and uh, in our uh, hiring model that we've been talking about for the last couple of years, we've realized with the calls for service and the number of firefighters we would need that that was the right number. And uh, when we applied for the grant, it gives us a uh, somewhere in the vicinity of 70 or 75 percent coverage for the first two years and then like 30 percent the, the final year. So we knew we were going to have to hire these firefighters at some point and basically what it does is it helped free up over half a million dollars um, to get it going on a timely manner. The interview process is in progress and new firefighters could be at your service in Hopkinton very soon. So we've uh, started the interview process. I actually have uh, three offers out right now and uh, I'm looking to do the fourth soon. And uh, it, it takes a while to onboard a firefighter. I just got last year's um, two firefighters fully in sync right now and, and every time I add a firefighter it, it makes a difference. It's a, one more set of hands. We are, you just heard the crews go out right now. Um, we have two and three calls on a regular basis during the day and it really has helped out getting adequate staffing so uh, a community gets better service and it's safer for our firefighters. All right, and, uh, how busy have you guys been lately? So I have good news to report. Uh, we've had a dramatic spike up in the last three years. This year calls for service is running about level with last year. So I'm hoping uh, to report at the end of the year we've kind of plateaued a little bit this year. It's a little bit cyclical up and down as we go, so we'll see how it, uh, the growth of the community is still there. I'd like to thank uh, and thank my uh, educational and preparedness and public safety crew that I, I, uh, I believe that we're a safe community and acting safe and hopefully we're controlling some of the requests for service. Uh, I've been working a lot with our seniors and the veterans and the general public on uh, how to you know, be safer, think safer, work with safety tips. Uh, having said all that, there are still some emergencies and that's what we prepare for every day.